What's going on guys and welcome to another video. Today we are on FIFA 17 and we are going to do a Scorpion challenge for the new Unicorn SPC that is out. Um, it came out on Tuesday um, I believe and uh, it's not the day that I'm recording this is Wednesday. There's also been a few other SPCs that have come out. As you can see the M-Ray Chan loan and um, you know, full time untradeable card um, as well as Miranda and the player of the month son had player of the month son already still got him he's one of my better players um so i want to need to unlock him emma chan i probably will do miranda it's very unlikely that i will emma chan is a 83 rated um like team rating and two foot champions cards and i believe miranda is also 83 rated um and i think it's only one foot champions card yeah um so I might do them, I don't know yet, probably will do Emery Chan though, to be honest with you, but I'll probably wait until my rewards on um, Thursday. So as you see, we've got the Unicorn SPC, get a kit, and you get an 84 plus rated um, inform card. Now, as you can see here, I've already done the team. Um, it's actually really, really, um, really, really cheap. What I recommend doing is going through your um, silvers and bronze cards seeing what you have available um, and then put, putting them into the team first and trying to link them up in some way and then work the golds around them um, it's pretty easy I've just separated it here I had to pay a little bit for one guy but the amount of money that I already had in my club from um, the like player sales which you'll see a little bit later on you actually make your money back and you basically get this car for free from this SPC which is brilliant um, for you guys if you get you could get something really 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 good from it um, so as you can see I've got uh, 80 chemistry, 70 rated, the rating doesn't matter. You've got to be careful with the amount of players you use from each league, which is why the split of um, 5 and 5 is pretty pretty good way to go because you get the chemistry a lot easier that way. So you can see 700 coins at 3,900 for this guy, he was the most expensive player in the team. But as I said you make that back from other player sales. Um, then you've got 1,100, 1,000 for um, D'Alfonso, um, I've paid money for these but, but ultimately this whole team together costs about 6,800 um, which you'll see in a minute um, we actually basically get it for free and you guys will get this for free uh, basically through player sales because I guarantee there's at least one or two players in your club that are worth a lot that maybe you can't fit in this in this team because you've got other players that work but you'll basically make your money back 100% um, so as you can see I did actually try and do it the opposite way because I had left back but then I realised if um, I did it this way then I could spend less money um, rather than getting more expensive players basically just me working the best way to do it and for the cheapest amount of money um, I'm just going to check a few of these players here because they might be worth something Cause what you want to do is you want to go to um, a league where the nationality isn't their first nationality so for example you go to the English league and you're searching for French players because you can link them up uh, as like a hybrid that people might use to complete this SPC. So you see this guy goes for a little bit, uh, I think about 400 to 500 coins. But there's, um, I know there's this left back here who's Polish and he's in the Syria. He's actually worth a lot, partly because he's of the uh, Calcio A uh, league SPC, but also the fact that um, he's also a bronze card in a defensive position um, in a w wing back which I'm going for quite a lot and I did buy this guy originally to try and fit him in but then I realized he's already had a creation so I'm going to sell him <coughs> hopefully make uh, a couple hundred coins on him but um, you know, I'm not too fast if I don't and uh, forget about Marchetti but I'm just going to have a quick look here to see what I've got in my club um, in like the golds but we put, the best way to do this is probably going to be like the bronze and silvers but um, I've got a couple of high rated cards there which I'll leave for future SPCs which I don't want to sell yet and some of the players are actually in some of my teams already <coughs> so um, yeah I won't be using them but um, you, yeah you might come across a few lucky ones I mean it's a bit of a try and error you probably just have to look through a lot of your players in the squad um, and, and work out who is actually worth something um, but it's kind of depending on position and league and where the like which leagues you can get the bronze and silvers for for I'd say like a cheaper amount but as you can see I'm just flicking through here just looking at the prices these Argentinians aren't actually going for too much I thought this 80 rated guy would go for a bit but he 
isn't going for loads. Um, Harry Arter could be worth a little bit. Yeah, it looks like about about a thousand coins for Mr. Cut for that. And then uh, we're going to this French guy here because I think he'll be worth, you know, a couple of thousand. And as you see, yeah, he's he's worth about two thousand ish. So we'll still stick him up just under that and under cut someone to get the sale. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the amount of money that you can make from this SPC. Um, if you if you go the right route, you can do this for reasonably cheap, especially if you're someone that does bronze pack method. Probably have a few bronze and silver cards, and then uh, you might have got it into the market and just get a couple of players to fit around the SPC. But then you can go back into your club and sell uh, other players for <clears throat> you know a decent amount to, to make this SPC basically a free one for you, which is which is really nice of the like, EA. They, they've done quite a lot of uh, good stuff with these SPCs they're doing weekly. You uh, basically get an inform where you get a good birthday card or a team of season. Which is really nice. Um, you can see this guy here, the Mexican guy, goes for um, you know a couple of thousand, and uh, I know this Jellet guy is going to go for a bit. Yeah, look at this. He's probably going to go for about two or three k here, which is uh, you know fantastic profit, which basically pays for the uh, guy we've got in centre mid. And this is only me going for a couple of players. So probably once I've done this video, I probably will go and uh, have a look in my club and see what we've got. As you see, the unicorn is complete. We go in and we go and claim our pack. Um, the kit actually isn't one that I probably will wear, so I probably will send that to my club. Um, but never seems to get matched up with many of the um, the EA kits that you put on. So yeah, that was me completing the SPC, guys. Um, I'm gonna hopefully get a very good player into my pack. But before that, I'm just gonna show you that some of the player sales sales are going through. You see that Polish guy sold, Arthur sold, French guy sold. So players are definitely selling right now, so you can make some nice, nice profit. I'm going to open our pack. 84 plus rated team of the week. Um, yeah, team of the week player. It's not a walkout. Hopefully, like a high rated one will be nice. Sent back Brazilian. 86 isn't actually a bad uh, sort of rating to get. He could be good for an SBC, but obviously, FIFA is dying, so. This card probably won't be used for myself, which is a bit of a shame, but um, you know, I might be able to stick him in somewhere. Uh, I'm still thinking about doing Gerard SPC, but I just I just don't know. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please do leave a like, please do subscribe for more video content from FIFA 17.